Agedi Mas and Crab the Queen of African Culture. And today I am live in Benue State, Makodi in Benue State, the capital of Benue State. Benue State people, the chief people that are known as the food basket of the nation. If we take a look at my back, we see the symbol that signifies why they are called the food basket of the nation. If you look at the food basket there, you see different kind of food. You see the yam, you see corn, you see okra, pineapple, plantain, different kind of food. They are known as the state that produces different kind of food. So I'm here live to explore Benue State. So follow me as I will be taking you in. This place I'm standing right here is called Urukun Roundabout that connects to the north the south and the east, and also connect to the main city of Makodi. Follow me as I'll be going in to explore Benue State. I still remember your girl, the Mars and Crap, the Queen of African Culture. Don't forget to follow me on my social media handle, Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. So I'll be bringing you more and more. So let's go and explore Benue State. I love you all. <laughs> I am live in Takiban Yam Market today. Lucky my yam market is one of the largest uh, yam markets in the whole West Africa. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go. So today we are in Zakibia, and this place is known as the yam market. So I will allow him to introduce himself, then tell us how this place, what, the, the history behind uh, Zakibia and yam market. So, sir, please can you introduce yourself to my camera? Good afternoon. And welcome to Zakibian International Yam Market. Uh, my name is uh, Jafet Ishengebe, the secretary of the International Yam Market, Zakibian, and also the secretary of the whole Yam Market in Sankara, Aziz. Mm -hmm. I welcome you and thank you. All. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, yes. So, what do you have to tell? I know uh, Benin people are known as the food basket of the nation, and I'm looking at uh, what is happening here, we're seeing a lot of yam and all that. What do you have to tell us about this very yam market? Yes, actually, as the, the whole nation are saying, the Benin State is food basket of the nation, particularly in Ukum, local government, where you people are here. We are the food basket of the nation by producing a lot of, uh, of uh, food stuffs. We produce yams, a lot of cassavas, uh, rice, beans, in fact, so almost maize, uh, maize and uh, so, many of them. Uh, so many of them. Yeah, thank you. How long has this place been existing? Our um, this international market, we they started it since 1960. Is it 64? 1964. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Where we were not born, and the time we we some of us started knowing something of yams is from 1981. Where they, they move yam to this place, from that town to this place. Where they now change it last two years, where the, the uh, government of uh, Buhali uh, Osibaju. Osibaju commissioned this market as an international market. So that is how we are here. So you could move yam from here to different places like? They move yam here to many places, all part of the nation, state. Many states in the whole Nigeria are involved. You will see like those one, this motor that is loading here is from Bayesa State. This one is going to Bayesa State? Uh, yes, this one is going to Bayesa State. Wow. And some are going to Lagos, like this one is Lagos. This one is Lagos, right? Yes. This one is Lagos, some are uh, Calabar, Aquaibon, and many more, Kano and the rest. So that is how we are, we are feeding Nigerians. Yes, that's why they call us food basket of nation. nation. Yes. <laughs> and you said uh, you people are uh, known as that. This place is now uh, being known as international markets. You people send yam outside the country. Uh, yes, yes. In some other 
time you will see some white men coming here to select yams that they can put inside cotton and seed, seed it to to other nation other this thing to the cotton yes uh, to send it to other nation. It to nation nation yes so white people do come here to transact with you people here uh, yes they do come here they do come here to transact how many trucks do you put load here like per day or weekly or monthly like uh, ah yeah, yeah let me let me go for a week a week yes let me go for a week we you will see different trucks used to come here this is 12 tires and 10 tires this uh, this one that they do with wood there are, and other small motors outside so let me just say we they do this thing up to 100 and something you said that in a week they load like how many trucks more than 100 trucks more than 100 trucks yes. in a week yes more than almost 200 almost 200 yes in a week yes in a week just a week going to different destinations different destinations so that's interesting is, uh, yes then you not talk of small small motor no, like no, no. all those uh, if, you, if you put the small motors inside and there are some other big garage there that loads these uh, buses they took it here to that garage more than more than many buses that used to load the yams and this a uh, uh, j5 and tata paka all those things so so like is. this now, do you, do you, uh, like since you grew up that you know that uh, this place is a yam market, international market, have you seen any market that is close to this or bigger than this? Uh, no, no, no. There is no market that is bigger than this market. That's why they call it international market. It's the only big market, yam market in the whole Africa. There is no any big market, yam market bigger than this? It, no. There is no one. So in the whole Africa, this is the yam, main yam market. That is the only biggest yam market in the whole Africa. Yes. Mm. You can you will take a look and see from this side to that side. It's long and big and yam always full inside. So like this now, like different all these small markets and they used to bring their own yam here to sell. And uh, actually they are selling their yams in their markets but what is there is their market is just a day market although they they used to bring yam there so people used to go there to buy yams for that a day market but this market is daily market so this place is daily market and here is daily market you can come here only on sunday that is not market oh that today is saturday and you see that uh, all the transactions are doing, moving fine. Do you have a very a particular day that people outside come to buy market, like a, a day that is known as a EB Yam Market Day? I uh, know. Inside this market, we don't have a day as a Yam Market Day. Okay. Yam okay. Market Day is daily. It's daily. Uh, but this is Zakibian. The Zakibian Market is on Saturday, like today. So if you go inside town, you will see a lot of people coming there to transact. And after today, as Saturday, the the level of people or the level of transaction will come down. But here, here is today that is there is a, a low market. Other market, other days are very groovy than today. Okay, other days this will be busy more than Saturday. Busy than today Saturday, which is the market day of this uh, this place. Because other people went for markets. Yes. Okay. Mm. For other can things. You, can you take us around to like see how the markets look like? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, let's go. Mm. Like this ones that I'm seeing now that they put the mark. Uh, this is what I am. This one is what I am. This is what I am. Okay, mm. Why did they use this thing to market like this? There is a uh, different uh, mark that suit and uh, different people when you see mark like this when you see eventually you see something like this you know that is bini and sapere yes 
Uh, the business something like this not that it's going to uh, Bini and Sapele? Uh, something like this is Bini and Sapele that mark this thing. Okay. But serious. from outside those two places, those, those two presses, mm. you will see. Let me. Let's go. You will see something like this. This one is O2. You will see this initial like this is different. This one is initial for the somebody's name. Okay, this one is representing the person's name. Uh, person's name. Like this one. You see like S E. You see? Uh, S E here. So all other people. All other people can mark this one, even most especially Ibo and Tiv and other places, yeah, even Asia. houses and all other parts. But for Bini, ah, that one that I showed you, Bini and separate them, they are, they are just doing as they are painting and coloring something like that. But, but do they do yam storage? Yes. Uh, what if can store yam? Uh, if you go to, this is warehouse. We have uh, two warehouses here. That one yeah. and the other one up here for storage. Uh, people. <coughs> but do they have different types of yam? Like apart from a uh, um, normal bango, uh, hey, bango, <laughs> no, mumu. That one, yes. I know that is. We have a lot of. Okay. Okay. So this warehouse. This is warehouse where I want you to see inside. Uh, Let's go inside. My I don't know that they store yam like they do yam storage. Yeah. Yeah. Now, well done, sir. Well done. Well done. I greet you, sir. You will see, yeah. Now, well done, no. Well done. I greet you. Well done. Work. So, this different is, persons, owned uh, by different persons. Uh, owned by different persons. Like, this one is another person. The portion here is for another person, and another portion here is another person. And this one here is another person. That is how this thing used to be. But is it that, uh, like, mistakenly one, another person will not mix up with another person? So? No. Based on the initial. Okay, based on the initial. Yes. And you cannot clean? Uh, no. Unless you firstly clean it. This one is what? Mumu or Bongo? No, this is uh, Fakita. Fakita? Yes. How Fak does one know that one they call Bongo and Mumu? They said that one used to be sweet, Bongo, something like Bongo, that. Bongo, Bongo is the best and sweetest yam. The best and sweetest yam? Yes. Uh, Followed by uh, Ogoja yam. There are a lot of uh, yams. That Ogoja and Bongo, that, uh, that, those are the very costly yams in the market. No, followed Ogoja. by Fakitsa. The Ogoja, is it still produced from here? Uh, yes. Okay. All yams I'm, I'm telling you used to produce in this. Uh, uh, oh, Bongo and uh, Ogoja is sweeter. Uh, followed by. Bongo and Ogoja is sweeter. Followed by Fakitsa. And not only sweeter, it's costly. It's costly. Uh, it's the highest paying price of yams. Mm, they paid it so high. Okay, which one is good for pounding? Like pounding? This packet are good for pounding. Anna Sue. And um, we have a lot of yams. Different. Uh, all oh, this place, no. this one, all oh, this one is storage. Them uh, people used to buy yam, store here, and load it. And it's not spoiled. No. You see how the federal government do it. Vastration okay. used to yeah. enter very well. So that the air will enter inside. Very well. This one that has this mark now is that Bini on, right? Uh huh. This is Bini. Bini on. So anywhere you see this mark, you know that it's going to be <laughs> Nobody will just tell you, you will just know that this is Bini Mark. Okay. Or Sapere. Those two people. Those are the marks. But like that that one I show you. Uh -huh, that initial I show you there is either uh Tiv Hausa or any other person. How many person. months can one store yam? Mm. 
they produce, they harvest yam from December time, mm. January and February. Mm. You will remove your yams out. Mm. And from there, you can store your yams. <coughs> from there, you can store your yams. You from can them. store your yams. <coughs> so, based on how people store their yams, mm. they store, you can see this yam till August. Till August? Yes. We used to be inside this market till August to sell yams that are stored. Is there any best way to store yam that will not spoil? You know, sometimes they say the thing will rot, you know, so something like that. Yeah, yes. If you store your yams in a in zinc house where there is no ceiling. So if, anything without ceiling, you can store your yam in there? Uh, without ceiling and they, they never plaster it. If they plaster it, mm -hmm with cement mm. what we, can, we used to do that the yam will stay is we find sand a very good sand like that pour inside pour sand yes. inside that cement room uh, uh, before putting yams okay. in that such thing if you not pour sand and put it inside to make the yam to it, it will decay spoil. very to decay. quick yeah okay. to decay quick so that is what we used to be. All these trucks they are here, they are loading down to down different what? places. Different destinations. You see a lot. Today, Saturday, and you see almost here from this line, it's a lot. And that line, and other ones are outside the market. Mm. It's a very big market. Yes. Mm. And this one, and this, one's going, this one is what I am. And this is what I am. You will see a lot of people that are inside this market, like this one is cheap. He was a member of this market before they give him a chief, yes. Okay. Uh, uh. I agree to sir. Yes. Yes. Uh, how are you? Good afternoon, sir. Uh, thank how are you, you doing, sir? No problem. I'm the manager and craft, are you? Mm -hmm. Your, Your name? name? My name is Joseph, Zaki Joseph Mitame. Okay. You said he's mm. uh, head on Badoki. Yes. I'm in the Kuhn local government. Yes. Welcome, sir. Uh, you came to explore your yam market, your okay. international yam market. Yes. So that's what we're exploring. He was a member of this market. Okay. Mm, I was a member before. Mm. Mm. Okay. You're a seller now? Yes. No. Uh, before. Before. Uh, okay. But yes. now he's a king. Yes. Okay. Oh, cannot, I greet you, sir. Yes. <laughs> and you don't see the symbol. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Eh? Welcome, sir. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Uh, this truck, them, these ones are loading to different... Different destinations. Okay. Yes. Okay. Down to seven years. Uh, is, is it not more than seven? Okay. And, and this line is more than... Only this line is more than ten. More than ten? And this is what I'm telling you. People are doing this. Thing. They are moving around. This, this one is another market. They are trying to fix up the... And that oh, four that the disasters destroy. Okay. The wind. Rain four. And because it's not strong. Mm. It's not well built. And uh, you will see as they are so empty. Strong mm. enough. Mm. Mm. And that is why they want to change. You will to see this. you see that what happened is in court. See as it gets hole inside. So it's not strong. It's not strong inside. So that is how it is. make the whole wood. Make it four, uh, and you see as it be, all those things. So people are doing it themselves, individually, collectively. So there is that. So. More. Okay. They load accordingly. Yes. This is the highest loader in this market. Mm, this is, okay, the, this is the, the highest loader. And the highest loader, the, the man has stayed more than everybody in this business, in this loading business. What in Uchichi. Uchichi. Yeah. yeah. Agree to sir. You yes, know sir. much about the loading of these vehicles. I welcome you. Thank you, sir. How is sir, work? Fine, thank you. Let me not just to welcome all of you. Thank you. <laughs> How long have you been doing this business? <laughs> No, it's more than 20 years. More than 20 years? Yes. It is more than 20 years. That is why I'm specializing it. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, well done. Yeah, How many? Oh, yeah.
Can you hear me? How many trucks do you load a day? Huh? How many trucks do you load a day? This is a heavy duty work. You cannot load more than a truck in a day. A, a single truck. So just a single truck per day. Per day. Thank you so much. Let that work. Thank you. <laughs> Very big, very large. It's the only biggest market in the whole Africa. This is CDMs. CDMs, okay, yes. for planting. Yes. Okay. Uh, they don't use. They don't people buy to go to their state for planting. This one is for planting. Yes. Well done, Wako. Mama, good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, ma. Well done, Wako. <laughs> I don't know. Can I talk to you? Hey, uh, Mama. You're tired. Okay, well done. Well done. You came to buy yam. Hi. From where? I'm exactly here. Exactly here. But I'm Yoruba by Yoruba by tribe. Yoruba by tribe. And this business you do. How long now? About 20 years. 20 years now. Well done, work. <laughs> Thank you. Thank well done. you. So some people buy normally this, only the seed yam? And some. Only this small yam they used to buy. They plant in their own place? Uh, and you know, some, some are to sell. But if you plant this very yam now, another place, will you see uh, germinate grow like this? Uh, yes. Okay. You don't see select land? Uh, no, no, it's select. Because there are some land that, there are some land that they can't, uh, can't produce yams. Only something seeds like rice and other things, but some some land in Ibo can produce. They can produce. Uh, can produce it. Yes. Yeah. All over Nigeria, more, more everywhere now they are producing yam. Only that, that, yam that, that, is that quite different. Uh, yeah. I guess I'm asking if uh, you if you plant this Benue yam now in different states now, will you see? Like it this. still give you yam, but mm, it will not, not sweet like not, this. Uh, because not, of the rain. And yeah, not because bigger of this, than, than big, big like this. Uh, yeah. okay. Maybe uh, some can be bigger uh, than some, this. Some can be bigger than this. Okay. But the mm. sweetness will not be the same. Yes, yes. will not be the same because uh, of this. So it's not the same with this. <laughs> this is interesting. Thank you. Okay, okay, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. 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 Good I'm in charge of trucks that are loaded from Zakibam here to Lagos, my 12th, precisely. You're in charge of trucks that are loaded from here to Lagos? Yeah, from here to Lagos. So as you can see, from the previous interview here, one of it was my truck, which was loading from here, from Zakibam here to my 12th. This very one then? Yes, yes. From here to Lagos? Oh, yes, to my 12th, Lagos. Mm. How many trucks do you load from here to Lagos? Mm, uh, let's, say, let's say every week I load like Five to ten trucks every, every week. week. Yeah. Mm. Five to ten. Yeah. Five to ten trucks. Mm. This place is very big. Yes. This is. I can say this. This is the largest in Nigeria. Precisely. Maybe. Maybe in the whole of West Africa. It's the largest yam market. The largest here. Largest yam market. Yes, we have here. Yes. Like how many trucks load here per that week? Maybe we have up to two hundred trucks every week every here. Week. Every week. We start by Mondays, then we end, we end Saturdays. But the main market days here are Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesdays. Mm. Mm. Tuesday and Wednesdays. Mm. Like, like today, it's just ending. As you can see, there are not, there are no, no much customers here or trucks here. Mm. But when you come here around Tuesday, Wednesday, you have a lot of customers, a lot of yams. They will be, as we are standing here, you cannot even get a chance to pass here as we are standing here. It will be very cloudy. Mm. Yes, it will be very crowded. A lot of trucks. And a lot of people around. Mm. When is that? Tuesdays and Wednesdays? Tuesdays and Wednesdays are the main market days that you can have customers here. Mm. They load from here to different places like? A lot of places. We have trucks heading from here to Lagos, here to Portacourt, here to Inugu, Abakiliki, mm. uh, Nonicha, Bini, mm. uh, a lot, almost Kano, Bauchi, Meduguri, etc. etc. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 
Mm. This is depressing. This is yes. yes. Mm, that is it. That is it. So people bring yam from villages to here to sell to? Yes. Most of the yams brought here are from villages, especially farmers, who harvest their yams, then come and sell. They, are, they have their middlemen, known as shed owners, so that when they bring those yams, they keep them in their care. From there, customers come. When customers come, they are, the shade owners are there in between the, 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 the yam owners that brought the yams from fans to, to talk about the price. From there, the shade owners, they stand as the middlemen to talk about the price. So if the price is acceptable, pending when the, the, the owner of the yam accepts the price, he will say, he, he accepts accept the price. Mm. No. How many types of yam do you have? Like? We have a lot of species here. There are some we call bongo, which is the sweetest of all. Sweetest. Mm -hmm. We have ogoja, which is very beautiful, very, very nice in terms of skin. We have fakitsa, and in the TV, we have humbakwase. That one, that one in TV language is more than your wife. <laughs> it's a kind of name anyway. Okay. You understand? We have a punch. We have a, there are a lot of names. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have nasarawa. We have pepper. Etc. Okay. Etc. Et Which one is good in Pande? That one in Pande doesn't have seed. That is that is that uh, that is Ogoja. The one we call Ogoja is one of the costliest among all. One of the costliest. Mm. They sell one like how much? It depends on the size, but you can sell up to six hundred thousand. Pay hundred tuba. Okay. Mm, depending on the size, but the least you can get that is the seed yams. You can sell around thirty thousand for the seed yams. Very small. Wow. Mm. That bongo is this that one that used to be very short. That one that is very short. Very short, it's very sweet. very sweet. Although that one is very difficult to, to have around okay. because you cannot get much compared to the other yams. Okay. Mm. Especially don't used to be much. Mm, yes, yes. Wow. Mm, mm. That is it. Like this full truck, like how many pieces of yam can it contain? As you can see, it depends on the size. The smaller they are, the more they can get into the truck. As you can see, the bigger they are, the less they get into the truck. Okay. Because the, the smaller the size, the more they get into the truck. For instance, for instance, for instance, yams of 20,000 can get into this truck if they are small, but if they are big yams, they can get up to maybe 11, 11 or 12,000. So that it varies. Okay. Mm. Okay. If it's big, mm. it will be lesser. It, but it if contains it's... more space. Okay. If it's smaller, it contains a lot of space. Okay. Then you can get into the truck more. Mm. Can one do yam storage? Yes. There's a particular time we do storage. For instance, by August. By August, heading to uh, October, November is, is the time of harvesting. But heading to, heading to January, February, the yam is dried and everywhere is dry. So you can, you can, do, the, you, you can do the storage. But when you, when you harvest immediately, by that time the yam is watery. There is a lot of water into the yam. So when you do the storage, it can, it can be spoiled. Since there is a lot of water into the yams, it can, it can get spoiled easily. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, I really understand from this explanation. I really explained deep. Yes, yes. Wow. Well, thank you yeah. very much. Yeah, I appreciate. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, guys. Let's go. Okay, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon. I'm the man and craft. Are you? I'm uh, Frederick Chosas Owa from Edo State. From Edo State. Yeah. Oh, you came all the way from Edo State. Yes. To buy him here. Yeah, we are traders. Okay. How long have you been doing this? I have for the past uh, twelve years. For the past twelve years. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You buy from here and take it to Edo? Yes, yeah, we do buy here and take it to Edo State. Is it that this is the only place that you can get enough yam or...? No, we just, uh, you know, uh, Zaki Bia yam is one of the best yam, so people do like it very well. And they have uh, this kind of taste, uh, sugar taste. So when you go to that place, you, bring, you brought those yam, and uh, you compare with uh, Zaki Bia yam, they are uh, a little different. So by because of uh, the sugar in it, so people patronize on patronize Zaki Bia yam than other people, other uh, tribe, place, other, other yam. tribe, other yam, other people uh, yam. Like uh, this Zaki Bia yam, we have a different type of it. Like Pakistan, called the Pakistan, that fine uh, people do like it. And the uh, other place we get people, uh, yam like uh, Bakwasi. And although there are Bakwasi here. Yeah. But that uh, other place like uh, 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 Niger State, Bakwasi, it tastes less. It's, it's not that, tasteless. yes, but it has a uh, stash, very much stash on it. But Zaki Benya have a uh, sugar taste and it's very good in, uh, in eating. So people do like it. That's why we do come here to buy yam here. 
Okay, so from the complaint from the customers, people have been able to find out that they prefer buying from this uh, Zaki Bia yam than other places. Yeah, even if when you drop it in the market and you drop other yam in the market, you see you see the difference. So by the time you, you drop the two, they will take they will buy this one first. You understand? And they also have a yeah, you know, there's different in it because we do Zaki Bia we do give it mark. You like you can see this one there now. This one there now, the way they mark it. So it's different from uh, uh, Niger State and uh, Plateau Mark. Yeah. Plateau Mark, they do mark it like, uh, like as if you are writing Arabic. Okay. You understand? This one is like, you know, writing one, two, three, A, B, C, D on it. That you're the different. They do know it in the market. The two, the two. Uh, the different, the different, the different type of uh, yam. How many people load from here to Edo? Uh, from Benin Trader, the trader that do come to this market in a week, we do load like twenty trucks. Twenty trucks. Yeah, in a week. In a week. Yeah, per week. And uh, yesterday we have a lot of trucks that leave this place, so I'm the only person that remain are from Benin uh, zone. Okay. You understand? So that I left. By next week they are still coming back the same way they left. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. All the way from Edo State. Wow. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Dima Atan Craft. Are you? I'm Caleb Iji Bodugwe Biam. You're from where? I'm from Zaki Biam. I'm, I'm the son of this land. Yeah. Mm. Okay. What, what are you doing here? We are Rodas Association okay. in, uh, in Zaki Biam, Okum, Benue State. Okay, your load association. Uh, uh, so you the that load, uh, road yam, anything concerning roading. We are the one that are roading. Okay. And we have our president, our chairman, everything we have. So once they finish buying, you are the one that load the yam inside the 911. Exactly, exactly. How many trucks are you people loading in a day? In a day? It's how uh, vehicles enter in the town. Sometimes it will enter 50, 70, or lowest like 30, 20. Like uh, on Saturday like this, we have vehicles here more than 20. Depends how market come. We load. And you will not load all of them. Yeah, we can load all of them today. Uh, when uh, when there is yam, mm, when there is goose, when goose as a lady will feel load at once in the day. Mm. You load that 20 once in a day. In the day. Even 70, 80, in the day. Yeah, in the day, because there is many of us. As you see, the vehicle full of this market on the Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, they full more than this, and we have rode it already. Mm. Even this week, we rode more than that. Mm. Going to different places. Yeah, di different places, different countries. Mm. How many truck have you loaded since you started working here? Can you count? <laughs> Dissyria. <laughs> Dissyria. Because, because it's too much. Uh, I can never count. I can never give the count. Yeah. How many truck you have loaded? Yeah. <laughs> People learn how to load this thing or you just come and start loading? No, we ran. Uh, we ran. And for the starting, you will come here and we will show you how to throw the yam, to roll the yam. Uh, some people you see the inside people that are rooting inside. Those who are throwing can never feel to root. Okay. Uh, people that are load different load, and people uh, that throw, uh, to throw them. different. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Mm. So this one that throwing like they don't know how to load to root. <laughs> what if you're throwing at the end break a court Wait. or will you pay for it? No, how can you pay for it? It's just like an accident. Uh, it's just like an accident. <laughs> because because you cannot just Carry a yam and hit on the ground. Yeah. So you understand? It's a mistake. Uh, is that Happen right? by mistake. Happen by mistake. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you, too. Okay. I'm Dima Sacraft, are you? You are Dima? Mm. Okay, I'm Danny Mbahi. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you're buying or you're selling? Which one are you doing? Mm, I'm, the, I'm selling in Zaki Ben Yam Market. Mm. I'm a shade donor in Zaki Ben Yam Market. Okay, you sell? Mm, I sell. People that comes to buy yam from? Yes, anybody that comes to buy yam, I treat you as a mediator. When you come to buy, I will just help you. I'm the mediator. And people who bring the yam are standing in the middle to people who come to buy. 
So I serve as a mediator. Like how do you put sell? Like 10 pieces, 100 pieces, or how many pieces do you put sell? Depends on the size of the yam. If the yam is big, I say according to the size. Mm. Mm. But can someone come in and buy only one, or it must be 10 or 100? <laughs> yes, we know when you bring yams like 10, we say 10, 5, and how you just come. If you need 20, I'll give you 20 pieces. 15, I'll give you 20 pieces. But the other one, we call it a seeker. If it is 10, 20, it's not raised on 100, we call it a seeker. If not up to 100, we yes, call it a seeker. Yes, we call it a in our language. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, I heard that we have different types of yam. Like Yes, okay. we have different uh, type of yam and different sizes. We have the most important yam is Ogoja, second by Humbakwasi, third, Fakisa, and the rest. Is the Ogoja here? Ogoja, Ogala. Unless I will check uh, through my edition, check it down there. Whether you I, I want I to see that Ogoja. Seed. Seed. Uh, yes, I have a seed of Because I've heard that it's one of the best yam. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bring. Yes. Okay, this is Ogoja. This is Ogoja yam. This is Ogoja yam. Mm. And it's still that it can produce very well. It can produce more than any other yam mm. for size. Because like this Ogoja, we sell it this year around the 300,000. Mm. This very specific called Ogoja. This is one of the best. Yes, this is the best yam so far. Mm. When you eat this yam, you enjoy it very well. And so the other one that we call Bango uh, is no longer in existence. It's no longer. Mm, yes, it is Why? that Ogoja. Because we don't have it in the market again. Mm. Does it have a particular season that you used to have Bongo? Mm. Mm? If you have a particular season that you used to have it. No, it's for every but we don't have Bango now. It's for past twenty years that where that Bango was uh, the show. Yeah, this one's now what do you call this one? This one is a mixed of, it's mixed of, because we have this one, this very one, this is a punch, and we have another one here, this is a humbakwasi, we have a... Okay, that's what they said, it used to be very smooth. Yes, humbakwasi, this is a yam, which pass woman, <laughs> mm, that is how we call it. Humbakwasi? In, yes, in our TV, in our language, mm. we call it humbakwasi. In English language, a yam that uh, pass woman. woman. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Yeah, wow. So this one, what about this one? Yes, this fakisa. is uh, Fakitsa. This is the third one. This is number three for yam. Mm. But this one is just coming up. Mm. This is uh, Fakitsa. Mm. Okay. I think you know this one. This is Agbo. Mm. What I am, right? This is, we call it uh, Agbo in our language. But this is a uh, very fine. This is a second one, too. This is uh, what I am. We call it what I am. Have it's very sweet. Different type. Yes, we have a different type of uh, what I am. We have a, uh, where's the other name? How did they call that one? Abana. Abana. Mm, it have different names. Mm, I also call it uh, Sakata. Mm, Ibo call it Abana. Abana, yeah, we we'll call it Abana. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Are you buying too? No, I'm a seller. You're a seller? Oh, you already know, sell money, Gather. Uh, <laughs> Gather money. No, I sell this one. Okay, you want to buy for you? Uh, this one I bought it. Uh, don't sell like this one. Uh, you bought this one now? Uh, so I bought this one. I don't sell this one. That's in there. Well, that's interesting. Well done. Okay, so. How long have you been doing this business? Uh, I'm doing business. Um, How long now? At least like 15 years now. Like 15 years now. Hey, how old are you? Now? I'm uh, my, I'm 40 years now. Okay, 40 money and 15. I've been into the building for 15 years now, <laughs> and you're enjoying it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. Thank, yeah you. thank you. Well done. Enjoy your money. Okay. <laughs> <then>. <laughs>